So before we get into the racing for this video, I've really been thinking about changing it up getting rid of my 250 and kind of getting something different it's for like when i go to florida this year to have um something set up i want to get the suspension shipped out change brands and get something different so with that i thought about selling this thing or potentially giving it away on the channel like my previous giveaways for example every five dollars spent my website gives you one entry with um some new merch on my website i'm working on some new hoodies and hats coming out let me know if this is something you guys would want to win it's a uh 2020 um right here if you guys are new to the channel 2020 and it only has 39 hours and I'm only gonna ride it one more time this year pretty much brand new still I'd clean it up get it all freshened up get the blue back in the pipe winner set up with their own custom graphics from uh, New England graphics peel all these off because these are a little bit scratched up I'd want the winner to have it fully custom to them so if you're interested throw a like in this video let me know in the comments consider it within the next few weeks decide what I'm gonna do other than that enjoy the racing from uh, area this past weekend all right, we're already going this morning. We got the bike loaded up, heading out the area for the first hair scramble. I'm not sure which uh, order this is gonna be in. It might be the first or second that I'm doing, but I guess we'll just call it first hair scramble for the season. We'll get there. Ryan's already in the truck, ready to go. We're doing the team race, and uh, should be a good time. Perfect outside, shouldn't be muddy like last weekend. We'll see what we get into today. Popped off, Micah pulled through. Got snacks to last this, uh, the week. Ryan's pumped up as usual, not saying anything with this bright new pink RPS hoodie. <laughs> should be a good day on the course. <laughs> It should be a good day on the course. Before we get into the racing, I want to thank Ritual for sponsoring this video. So even with a perfect diet, it's really hard for a lot of people to get the key nutrients they need on a daily basis, and this is where Ritual comes into play. So Ritual helps women and men of all ages fill the gaps in their diet. Ritual is a brand I can trust because they're fully transparent on all the ingredients that they use, and they explain why, unlike some other multivitamins on the market. You can trace the decision-making process behind each of their ingredients, from where they source their nutrients and why, to their environmental impact. They're also very transparent about their packaging and materials. They use 100% recycled materials and their mailers are made from recycled newspaper and plant fibers. They even use plant-based ink. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. It contains nine highly quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are difficult to get enough of every day even with a healthy diet. Along with their delayed release capsule design that is gentle on an empty stomach. And along with that they're vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and contains no added sugar. They offer a men's multivitamin which I showed you here along with a bunch of different other vitamins teen vitamins which is delivered directly to your door with their subscription and they just launched a new essential protein range basically a protein shake to help you get all those nutrients if you want to check out ritual with the top link in my description you can get 10% off your first three months once again that's 10% off your first three months by using my link down below and putting my code in at checkout thank you to ritual for sponsoring this video and we'll get back into the racing for today all right we're going out got geared up we're on the line right now hopefully I Mike up the start, see how this goes. Well, uh, you got that, uh, you got that, here, move your hand, that back to the electrical tape grip. Hey, be nice. <laughs> oh, man. Crack me up, dude. You got yours wired on. Yeah, these Mine things are pretty beat, too. Own. Hopefully this thing Can starts start in gear. Here? I can't. I gotta, I gotta start quick second go. It won't even if you pull the clutch in? Oh, you like to go. Yeah, so, yeah. Put it in second. Good luck, Mike. <laughs>
far? Yeah, on a hill. You... I'm just tired. Ah, oh. nice. Yeah, it's good enough. We just got back to the house. I'm gonna get this thing all cleaned up. Ryan and I ended up first overall in the team race. Um, had a great time. Both Ryan and I felt better than the last race at Pavilion. Definitely wasn't as muddy, wasn't as bad. Um, I think the trails are better over there than they are at area, but overall had a good time. We'll get this thing cleaned up. I actually, I don't know if I caught it on GoPro, um, but I was behind the e-bike guy and my whole, like when I fell, the bike fell into like a stump and bent my whole radiator back. The shroud was out here and slammed it back in place. So I gotta check that thing over, maybe tweak it a little bit. I don't think it's bent, it's kind of matches the other side. All together, didn't, uh, didn't rip anything off. So it's all that really mattered to uh, finish the race, but got this thing cleaned up, packed up for the day.